Okay, so we're going to have a go at uh, making this cap charger, 12 volt batteries. Um, so basically, you come off your mains, off your hot, with the right size cap, through a full weight bridge rectifier, and then into your batteries. Um, for this demo, I'm not going to be using mains at all. Too dangerous. Um, touch one wrong thing, and you're pretty well cactus. I'm going to step it down to around 30, 32 volts and use one 12 volt battery as my charge battery. So um, we pretty much all got everything we need, uh, volt and an amp meter, um, our decent transformer, that will put out uh, 20 amps at one at 24 volts. Uh, we have our watt meter, we have a one ohm 20 watt resistor to put our scope across so we can measure current and voltage to see how far out of phase the two are. We have four 6 amp diodes we're going to make our full wave bridge rectifier out of. And we have a box full of various size caps which we're going to try. So um, I'm not too sure if Duncan wants us to place a load on the battery so we can see how much um, we can draw from the battery and how much power is being consumed um, going into the battery. Of course we'll be only measuring after the transformer, not before. Um, set up on the 32 volt side, uh, it uses about 25 to 26 watts at idle. So um, if we can get the uh, watt meter to stay at that while charging the batteries, um, we may be onto something. So uh, going to give it a try, see what happens. Um, the only thing I need to do now is go and find a uh, battery that's um, down a little bit. We'll get one and take a load, or we'll stick a load on it and draw it down a little, and then um, set up our charger. But um, that's the least of our problems. I've got plenty of batteries lying around. So this is what we're about to do and try. But here's our uh, setup so far. Um, right, the scope is across the transformer on the uh, yellow channel and the blue channel is across our 1 ohm resistor. As you can see we have a 29.6 volts RMS. Um, nothing across the resistor because there's no load at the moment. Uh, full wave bridge rectifier, the amp meter is between the output of the rectifier on the positive side and the battery, so we can measure our amps going into the battery, our battery voltage as you can see it is down a little bit, um, our watt meter, 25.1 watts, about, does go up and down slightly, um, see our power is not terribly stable. I'm using a 4UF cap at the moment and um, we're charging a 12 amp hour battery so uh, that's about it for our setup. So we're still on 25.1 uh, watts so we'll hook our uh, power up now to the cap Twenty-five point four. Oh, and there you go. So the problem we have because we get the power surges, especially when it's raining and everything's wet. I'm just going to disconnect that again. The tests I've been carrying out show that we go up about 0.3 of a watt with the 4 year cap. We're at 25.6. 25.9. So yeah, we go up about uh, 0.3 of a watt. Okay, so coming out of the system, going into a battery, we have 21 milliamps at 13.34 volts. So, 
turn on an old trusty phone here. Thirteen point three four times point zero two one point two eight zero one four watts. So fairly close to the uh, three watts that the meter went up by. Now, because of the four-wave bridge rectifier, the blue trace which is across our one-ohm resistor looks fairly ugly. But as you can see there, if you can make any sense of that, we are pretty close to 90 degrees out of phase. With the voltage and the current. Could probably get a little closer if I put a... Uh, 3UF cap in there, but um, that's fairly close. So, um, I'm not seeing any uh, difference. Very small loss um, in the system, but due to the uh, one ohm resistor voltage drop across the diodes would make up the difference so um, so far no cigar I don't know if I'm supposed to put a load on the battery and uh, check it that way see if our um, meter goes up or well, the battery voltage just starts to drop down because um, it's only delivering 21 milliamps at the moment so I might do that next see what happens alright just found out something very interesting. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this at the moment, but for those that you don't like doing measurements, this is where it comes in very handy. Perhaps in your favour. So, um, the system is disconnected at the moment. And what I've done is I've removed the amp meter from between the uh, bridge rectifier and the battery and I have a uh, 12 volt globe here as a load I'll just turn my scope back on okay so I have the amp meter between the 12 volt battery and the globe positive side and of course our voltage I've pulled the battery down a bit the voltage across the battery is 10.92 Okay, so at the moment we're drawing 25.7 watts, 25.8, and it's going up and down uh, maybe half a watt. So we just got to take that into consideration. So at the moment it's pretty stable around 25.7. I'm going to hook the system up. So we're drawing 26. 25.926 so we're still at about 0.3 watts that seems to be fairly consistent um, with that cap we're drawing about 0.3 watts okay so that's fine so what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up our load to the battery and it's a fairly hefty load now it pulls the battery down to about uh, about 8.6, 8.5 volts and then stabilizes. So we're still on about 25.9 to 26 watts. Okay, so we, that's about 0.3 of a watt more than what the transformer draws at idles. Okay, so here's the interesting part that I found. Turn my phone on, get the calculator up, clear it. Okay, so 8.73, 8.74, so the battery is starting to charge up slowly. But if we go on, say, 8.75 volts, and we're drawing 1.446 amps, now that's uh, steady DC amps from the battery. So we've got 1.45 amps at 8.75 volts, we're going to say. So 
times 8.75 I did say didn't I? Yes, 0.75 is 12.68 watts. And our watt meter here only went up, it's still on 26 so it's very consistent with the 0.3 of a watt according to our uh, watt meter. So it makes no difference whether I plug the light on or not and as you can see the battery is charging. Back up again. And that is the current we're drawing. So we're drawing about 12 watts of power here. The battery is slowly charging and as you can see the um, we've had a bit of a power drop now because we're down to 25.5, 25.4 but nonetheless that does remain at about 0.3 of a watt uh, when we hook up this system here and yes the battery is charging so as the battery voltage gets higher of course our current gets higher too but our watt meter is showing no difference. So, um, and the load doesn't throw the phase out anymore. That I can tell. It's a bit hard, the line's a little bit furry, that's because we're uh, right down on the volts per division because we're right down on the resistance across our uh, resistor there, which is one ohm. So, um, yeah, we're getting about a 0.3 of a watt rise uh, on our watt meter, and it doesn't seem to affect it. it. Stays pretty much the same, regardless of how much the voltage and the current door climbs. So, um, of course, that's an incandescent bulb, and an LED. So there you go, we're pulling over 12 watts here, the battery is still slowly charging, there's enough power getting to the battery to slowly charge, um, and our watt mo uh, work meter is not showing any more than a 0.3 of a watt rise, so uh, that's, uh, that's a fairly big um, difference between what we're putting into the unit, apparently, and uh, what we're drawing out of it. Yes, don't know. Um, hmm. I'll let it run for a while and we'll see what happens. Anyway, so it's um, been worthwhile doing the experiment so far. And uh, Hey, maybe there's some truth to what the guys are saying about this simple little system. As you can see, without the load on the battery, um, I was seeing a slight loss, which would be the diodes and the resistor, otherwise it was fairly even what we're putting into what we're taking out, but as you've seen for yourself, the watt meter shows no um, difference, even when we add another 12 watts of uh, draw another 12 watts of power from the system. Okay, so I'm going to get this video uploaded and because uh, I'm sure some of the guys there want to see that, but um, yeah, very interesting. I might, um, well, I am going to actually keep fooling around with this a bit. Um, I'll drop that down to a 3 UF cap, see if we uh, can actually get that to remain exactly as it is um, before we hook the load up. See no change in um, the wattage. What uh, I do know is uh, when your current and your voltage is out of phase like that, strange things can happen, but one would expect um, to see, you know, when you chuck an extra 12 watt, watt, watts of load on it, that uh, the meter would show something, but it's showing nothing. And um, our battery is steadily charging as well. So now, you know, we're up near 14 watts now.
and still the meter is showing nothing. Alright, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll keep you posted on this one.